Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we are heading over towards London, England, right over here towards Buckingham Palace. On our channel we show how all of the world is as a matrix, that everything is just a giant grid going right by the Bible, and that we're heading towards the biblical end times, and that right here will be mapped out part of the biblical end time beast seen as the beast out of the sea. This is not one nation. This is not one person. This is many nations. We have seen the same evidence inside of Washington DC, the same evidence in China, the same evidence in Saudi Arabia, and in Russia, and many other places around the world. All part of this beast out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. The dragon, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns. There is even many things in the Bible about the great red dragon speaking great things. Just as Donald Trump and the red hats, just as many things that were shown about Donald, or excuse me, about Obama. All of these represent part of these seven heads and ten horns all around the world. Vladimir Putin, Obama, Trump. Queen of England, the princes, Saudi Arabia, Chinese president. But it all comes back to this beast and to this part right here. The woman on the beast. The mystery explained. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. Seven kings. Five are fallen, one is and the other is yet to come. That's the seven heads. And then the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour at the beast. These have one mind. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. It comes back to this Revelation 13 beast out of the sea. Seven heads and ten horns, and has the feet of a bear. This will be shown over there. There is a lot of things about this ten downing street in London, center of protests and activities, even a dog pooping out there, Prime Minister's office, yeah. 10 Downing Street, because this fulfills the other symbolism of the 10 horns which thou sawest are 10 kings, just like Obama having his time as president represented one hour with the beast. Just as Donald Trump's time as president means he's getting one hour with the beast. Just as George Bush and on and on, the Vladimir Putin's, all of them doing these things around the world. Well, let's go over there and map this out. Here's 10 Downing Street, like 10 down. 10 down angels. Well, this is Buckingham Palace, right here. Now you can actually see what looks to be like Prince William in there, standing there, like one of the kings. He's getting his one hour, whatever it is. You can actually start to see him in there. See him there? This represents the wine that they get drunk on when they get their power but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs. All of these ten kings and all drink is what it's called. And they get drunk on the blood of the martyrs and the saints whatever it is. 
See them right there? See him drinking? All the way up to here represents where they sacrificed Princess Diana. Because Princess Diana represented the dragon going after the woman on the moon. The dragon goes after the woman. See right there? The dragon. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed the sun and the moon under her feet, and the dragon attacks her. That's what happened. They killed her. And the Bible is called what's called splitting the stone, like splitting the bride from the wife, and then it makes water come out. See, Princess Diana Memorial Fountain. She was a sacrifice by these murderous things over here. Don't forget, this goes all the way into the USA government and into all around the world. That's the only way to explain this and to know this. There's the bear. The feet of the bear. They murdered Diana. There's Prince William, and there represents part of the Ten Kings. That is for sure. I mean, even the Serpentine, they are part of and working for Satan. It's confirmed that they are part of the dragon. They are part of the seven heads and ten horns. Please enjoy the mystery and help us all find all of the different parts and pieces that are all around the world. We've seen this in Washington. We've seen this in China. We've mapped this out in Saudi Arabia and over in, especially around Vladimir Putin and over into the Soviet Union and at the Vatican. All of them are part of these ten kings. The mystery explained. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. All verified. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. And may God have mercy on us all. Right here you can see the dragon giving them their power. It even has one of its horns. See that horn right there? There he is. So that represents some of the ten horns. Perfect. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. There it all is, right in front of us. This is one of the ten kings and part of the dragon that will try to fight Jesus Christ. Let's find all the parts and pieces and expose them. Hallelujah.